Hey loves, in today's video, I'll share with you tips on how to look your best for video calls, video meetings, online dates, or even online classes. Back to basics. The very first thing we need to do before makeup is to clean our face. It also has to start with clean hands. Usong uso sa atin ngayon ang clean hands, wash your hands, 20 seconds um, with soap and water. So let's do that right now. As a very first step, to making sure you have a clean face. Now, I will wet my face just a little bit. I like to use facial wash that doesn't really dry up the skin. Kailangan talagang light na light lang. Huwag niyo masyadong pagkwersahan kasi ano yan eh, mukha natin yan eh. That's the very first thing na nakita ng mga tao. Just make sure na hindi ka lang uh, maganda, malinis at mabango ka din. <laughs> so ako, I like to spend just a little bit more time sa may nose area and dito sa may chin area. Don't forget behind the ears also. And of course, the neck. So make sure to brush your teeth. It's all about basic hygiene. Pag pinunasan niyo yung face niyo, don't rub it so much. Just make sure you pat dry. Chill na chill lang dapat. But chill na chill lang dapat. Konting diin, ganyan. Pero not naman yung talagang irarub niyo. So, hindi magasgas or masira yung plumpness ng skin niyo, di ba? Number one na tinuturo ng lola ko yan, yung behind the ears. Talaga, make sure you wash the behind and you wipe behind your ears as well. Oh, sarap ng feeling. Ang linis ko na. Before I do my makeup, you might wonder what I do. I like to moisturize just a little bit before putting my makeup on. The reason why is because um, we usually look dry or super matte um, kapag hindi tayo nag-moisturize. Anyway, hindi naman kayo lalabas ng bahay. This is a, a video call. Um, and usually our meetings are now on our computers, our laptops, or our phones online. So it doesn't hurt to moisturize your skin. I like to use moisturizers that dry up really fast para hindi greasy or oily. I like to use a serum or my favorite moisturizer. Don't forget around the lips and the hands. Para hindi sayang. And I also like to put serum around my eyes. The point of using moisturizer is so that dewy yung itsura, hindi masyadong dry, hindi rin ma matapang or mahapdi sa skin kapag magpa-powder tayo. Kasi of course, para walang oiliness sa screen pag nag-video call. Tsaka mabubuhayan ka ng dugo. Ako pag nagmo-moisturize ako, parang nagigising ako. Alright? I think I am ready. Yung buhok ko, ganyan na muna siya for now kasi... Blino dry ko siya, tinali ko siya. Mamaya pag tinanggal natin yan, mag wavy 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 siya. So, let's go and let's do our 5-minute makeup perfect for our video calls. Ang pinaka-important na step sa lahat bago mag-makeup ay tandaan, kailangan may makeup table ka. I never had a makeup table growing up kasi um, bara-bara talaga ako tsaka nagtitaping ako and nag-start na akong magteleserya at mag but I would normally do my makeup sa car and papunta ng meeting. Sa kotse lang talaga ako nagme-makeup at meron akong makeup mirror dun sa may kotse at dun talaga ako nagme-makeup. But nung natuto na akong mag-take ng time in between projects, natuto na rin akong mag-set up ng makeup corner or makeup table and makeup chair sa aking room. So, ang very, very first step pag nandun ako sa makeup table ko ay, of course, bukod sa magandang mirror at mga ilaw, magsisindi talaga ako ng candle. Super favorite ko talaga mag-makeup na mabango yung naamoy ko and I'm very inspired by good scents and anything that smells good. So, for now, I am using my Fornaceti Perfumi candle na very, um, warm ang amoy parang smells like christmas so ito yung candle of choice ko these days hindi talaga ako maka-start mag-makeup at maka-start um, mag-prepare at magpaganda pag wala akong kandila na scented candle so this is my very first step ang aking rituales ritual ko to talaga before ako mag-start mag-makeup so yan ready na ako and Let's begin. 
first is concealer. I like to use concealer under my eyes because my eyes are not only dark, but puffy as well. So concealers come in many different forms. I use a stick, but there are potted creams and pencils. And you can use anything but stop on Sergayuhiyang. So you place your concealer using your ring finger and ingatan lang ang paglagay kasi super sensitive ang skin under your eyes. Dab a little bit of concealer on the sides of your nose. And I like to put concealer on my chin and basically on my T-zone. Then I use the sponge to blend. Again, tahan tahan lang. Concealer should be the same shade as your foundation or slightly lighter, but using the foundation that's just perfect for your skin or powder to top it off. Color that doesn't blend into your skin basically calls attention to the flaws instead of hiding them. So, gumamit lang ng tamang shade ng concealer, not too light and not too thick. Or you can also use foundation to cover it up to keep it light and not heavy. And use a powder that also works as coverage. After using this sponge to blend the concealer around my T-zone and my eyes and the surrounding skin, I like to actually use a coverage powder. This is facial powder that provides coverage instead of foundation. It keeps it light, it keeps it fresh, and I like to go from center and move outward and blend. So you see the difference from my right eye and the other one without the coverage powder. So I dab it on my nose, I dab it on all the parts that I place the concealer to seal that concealer and blend it around my face. So I like to use a slightly lighter powder on my eye bags and my T-zone and a slightly darker powder around. And don't forget your T-zone area and of course your neck and your ears. Your ears are the most important part because that's what gives away the true skin color that you're trying to blend. We're almost done with the coverage powder. Stroke upwards if you can and don't drag the skin too low. And now, I'm excited to tell you that I am not putting powder on my eyes because I'm going to use the natural oils to help blend with my eyeshadow stick. So this is one of my favorite eyeshadow products. Kailangan ko talaga ng mata, although malaki na yung mata ko. It just adds a little bit of drama and madaling madali lang gamitin yung gantong eyeshadow stick. Just put a tiny amount on your ring finger again so you don't put too much pressure. So make sure you do the right and the left eyes evenly. And I like to choose a sort of neutral shade. And since it's a video call meeting or date, we don't need crazy dark shades. I also like to use actual powder eyeshadow for that highlight on the brow bone. When the light hits your eyes, it will bounce off of the areas where you put highlight. And iniinit ko yung eyelash curler ko. Usually they use a blower para magform talaga yung lashes and maggirl ng maayos pero okay na rin yung hipan lang <laughs> para lang uminit and maggirl agad ang eyelashes. So that's my little beauty secret. Itry niyo, it actually really works. Now of course, mascara. That's to give a little bit of sexiness to the eyes, but more than that, para magmuha tayong alert, alive, and enthusiastic. I am particularly attracted to eyes and always like to look people in the eye when they talk, even virtually. And now I put eyeshadow under my eyes. I just blend the shadow super lightly just outside of the waterline to just make it look like one seamless look. And I like to smear everything and spread things out. I use my fingers to blend everything in too sometimes. So I like going for that bronzed look. Um, I think it's important to also highlight uh, the lid. Just don't highlight the whole lid because lili yung matna natin unless that's your goal. Um, I like using my dual purpose eyebrow brush. And I think that pencil and 
eyebrow mascara is pretty important. You have to be able to learn to use both so you can line and fill. I just use a darker stroke at the ends of my eyebrows and I follow the natural shape. If you have thin eyebrows, really think about how thick you want to make them. Or if you have thick eyebrows, think about how much thinner or more sculpted you want to make them. Of course, now I like putting blush. I like using powder blush when it's really hot outside. I tend to sweat and get oily, so powder blush works for girls like me who get oily when it's hot outside. And since this is a tropical country, it does not hurt to use powder products. And of course, speaking of powder, if I put too much, which I did in this case, I was overly enthusiastic, you just use your powder to really blend in and make it look ever so natural. And like I said, I love that bronze beauty Latina look. I like to also add a little bit of oomph and zhuzh to my collarbones. And this is a terracotta body bronzing powder. So I'm using a brush that's super soft and does not hurt the skin. It's important to use quality brushes. Kasi pag masyadong magaspam, ma sasaktan din ang balat natin and magra-rough siya. So see, terracotta has a pinkish tint. Um, I just let my skin absorb that and I can't judge my makeup from the first few seconds of applying it. So I like to wait a while for the makeup to settle in and then I apply my lipstick. I like using matte lips um, for video calls and it's just so important to use a neutral shade that's not going to be screaming out loud means and kasi para kang labing tinubuan ng tao. So kailangan neutral lang. I like to line my lips, but you can also just use something that is a little bit on the brown side or pinkish side to look fresh and clean. So that's it. I'm ready. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys find your own way through doing your own makeup, depending on your features, let me know if you have any more tips and tricks on doing your makeup for video calls in the comments below.